Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Flat Top Friday, and we have Woo something... Yes, we have something very great. Uh, but uh, don't forget, we're closed next week, uh, but we'll still have Guitar of the Day, all new episodes coming up. Uh, and yeah, you can email us if you're interested in any of the guitars, we'll still be answering. And uh, But other than that, we're, it's time for a little break for the staff, I think. Jen, where are you going? Italy? Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Pennsylvania, New and, York. Ooh, Nick's going. Uh, Nick's going where? Hawaii. Hawaii. Is Ty and, going Hawaii? I don't know. He's he says he's recording us an album. He's record. Uh, that's what he's without me. <laughs> Edibles at night. Solo. He's the know. first one to go solo. <laughs> oh jeez. The drama begins now, and I just found out on camera. Uh, oh my god! I spilled the beans. But I swear I'd only cry once. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get over it now. Anyways, other than that, we got a new website coming. Norm's at the guitar show in uh, Orange County. So when we get back, we're gonna have a bunch of new guitars again. Um, man, it just keep more guitars just keep coming in, but they're yeah. also going out, and uh, it's exciting. We'll have some cool stuff. But anyway, come on back. Let's check it out. So this is a 1966. Gibson. <laughs> oh no, you guys. Gibson. J45. Oh, okay, okay. What the? All right, there we go. This is really clean. This is, I'm gonna call this guitar Johnny Appleseed. Oh. oh. Johnny Appleseed? Yeah, I don't know. It just has this this vibe that you can write some good solid tunes under the tree with this one. I kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know. You it just has a vibe. To, you might have to write a song under the tree. <laughs> She's got a good point, guys. All right, so here we go. We have uh, the Cherry Burst. Uh, super clean. This came from Norm's Warehouse. Um, the J45 got its name because it was $45. Mmm. Pretty wild, but it replaced the J35 in 1942. Um, obviously crazy times, but this became Gibson's one of Gibson's most popular guitars, um, also known as like the workhorse. Um, but just a really, really cool guitar. It's got the rosewood bridge, mahogany back and sides. And you got your clues and tuners there. This thing is just insanely clean. It is like it's, it's crazy. crazy, yeah. It's like that red bike you have been known Christmas. There it is. And uh oh wow, it's still got a uh, a sticker on there from the original music shop and it says the music shop. That's cool. Yeah, in Oregon. So I guess you know a little bit of where this guitar came from. I'm sure it was many other places too, but um this guitar, I find, really shines when you strum it, full-on strum it. I mean, finger-picking sounds good, too, but uh, it's, they just, that workhorse thing comes through when I think when you strum the chords. It has a real canon kind of feel. Um, everything's original. No refret, and it plays great. Um, and I th you know, a lot of them don't burst out that red um, into the yellow, so I think this is a really unique one, and um, definitely a prime example if this is what you're your thing is, this is the one. And, uh, you know, Norm only holds on to the ones that are special. So, he's finally willing to let this one go. Um, so, I, I would say get on it while you can. Because this is a really, really cool guitar. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, we're out front with the 1966 Gibson J45. And a Cherry Burst. Super clean, really cool guitar. Sounds great. Uh, we're going to start off strumming with a pick. Here we go.
Single notes. <laughs> don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> gonna figure it out right now. All right, here we go. Don't you? Yes, go. I don't know what to do. Go crazy. All right. I like this one. I came with this last night. It's not crazy, but it's fun. have guitar of the day and uh yeah so let's just enjoy our week off see you guys soon